So, welcome. No, we have one guest and he is not Dutch. Is that right? Okay. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, we have uh, six, seven professionals and one campus hero. <laughs> well, we are pleased that we have one. Um, so I'll, I'll try to do, where are you from? Design Academy. And in from which country do you come? Canada. Canada. And you come especially for this uh, campus party to Holland? Ah, you asked, oh you, uh, you asked for six months in Holland, in Eindhoven. Okay. Well, it's a lot difficult to understand. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, well, this is the challenge about um, uh, modular building, especially in uh, 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 maintenance and renovation of existing houses, social housing. Um, I was prepared for maybe uh, 10, 20, 50 people. Um, my first question would be, are you familiar with the concept? Do you know about social housing in Holland? Okay, uh, in, what, in what kind of uh, house do you live yourself? An apartment, social housing or? Uh, no. Oh, here. Okay. Um, did you ever experience maintenance in the building or renovation? You do it yourself, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, in social housing, it's common that um, uh, the housing corporation makes a design, a plan, um, and then all the people have to, to, uh, to, 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 to accept, and then it all goes in a sort of a, a, a big train that comes to the complex. We'll explain. I'll, we, I'll start because I didn't know if uh, people are, are familiar with social housing. I'll have some uh, pictures for you. First, this. My name. I am Wim Vleeskens. Um, I'm a lecturer at the Institute of uh, uh, Built Environment here at Ho Hogeschool Utrecht here in, uh, in Utrecht. Uh, we have uh, four coaches. <laughs> I am one of them. Uh, Wilco Planje is next to you. Uh, Rogier is sitting in front of you. And the fourth one is not here, he not has not arrived yet. We all work at High School uh, Hogeschool Utrecht. And we have a second speaker, is Menzo, Menzo Oosting. And he is from a big uh, housing corporation here in Utrecht, uh, doing many, many uh, uh, house and ma maintenance and renovations. Well, this is housing in Holland. Um, about 17 million inhabitants, 70 million people are living in Holland. Uh, 7.4 million houses, it's a lot, lot, lots of. 3.3 um, million. Uh, rent, the rest is uh, 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 are from owners, and 2.2 million social housing. Social housing means rent below approximately 700 euros, and your income must be below approximately uh, 35,000 euros. Well, 2.2 is about 20 percent, one third. Uh, I cannot imagine how many that are, but it's very much. This is how it looks like, a little bit. Uh, houses on the ground in a row, a very Dutch uh, concept, uh, but very often uh, uh, on top of each other in apartment buildings. You you know you you know it. Uh, is there a point? Yes, this is uh, uh, one of the complexes of uh, Corporation Micros in Canale Island. In it's in, in, in a, a, a region in uh, uh, in Utrecht. Welcome. We have just started the challenge uh, modular building, and it's about social renovation of social uh, housing. Welcome. These are uh, uh, pictures of social housing, uh, examples of social housing in in Holland, and we have we had some figures. Well, he doesn't do it. 2.2 million uh, social 
housing in Holland. It's very much housing. Housing. This is another picture of how it looks like. Um, uh, it's uh, all the, um, uh, the kitchen, uh, the, the w WC, the closet, um, uh, the bathroom. They are, they are all in the house, but they are very small, always. And always with, uh, oh yes, here, uh, tiles on the walls, piping on the walls. Uh, you can see it here also. Tiles and piping on the, mostly piping on the walls, but very small. Um, a bathroom is only one meter uh, like this and two meters like that. So it's very, very small. A uh, kitchen is uh, um, uh, uh, one meter 80, and then you have uh, 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 some place for uh, cooking and refrigerator. That's all. Well, maintenance, you, you told me uh, you, d you are doing it yourself. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance. Uh, you need a lot of maintenance in houses. Uh, the painting of the window frames uh, roofing every 20 years, um, heating uh, uh, every 8 or 10 years or 15 years. Uh, the facade needs maintenance every 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, and of course, the kitchen, toilet, um, uh, uh, the bathroom. And this is when it's uh, all together, you, d you do not know it, uh, call it only maintenance, but it's renovation or refurbishment or something like that. And then the complete complex of houses is uh, in, in at, at once all together. Um, tiles are con uh, 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 and I have a little um, film. I think you get the picture. When you are living in that house, uh, and the people, the, 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 the laborers come in the house, and you get this noise and this uh, dust, it's difficult to live in the house. Um, this is a picture of uh, uh, another house of uh, Mitros Corporation. Um, in all that is in red uh, is for the laborers. You cannot use it. So there is no kitchen, no bathroom, no, no lavatory. So you cannot live in the house anymore. And that is what happens. This is the, mom the momentary approach. Exterior and interior are uh, all together. Um, um, it's in comple complexes of uh, some tens of some hundreds of uh, uh, apartments. Um, and the Housing Corporation defines it all, what, uh, what has to be done. And this is what happens in the house. Very much noise, very much dust. It's uninhabitable for some time, so you have to move out for uh, two or three weeks to another house. Um, and it's very stressful for the inhabitants, and it's very expensive and laborious for the Housing Corporation. And that's all, that uh, uh, also, in fact, is that is the problem that what we are talking about. Can we do that in another way? Um, this is the general idea for uh, approach in the future. Um, can we split uh, the renovation of the exterior of the house of the apartment complex building uh, and the interior? Can we think of not of some tens of houses uh, at once, but of thousands and thousands? 
Um, and can we think of a, an approach where the driver is in the tenant seat and not the housing corporation? So uh, where you are going to uh, uh, work uh, this afternoon or this evening and think about this, uh, this uh, problem, uh, that, uh, that, that, that think of these criteria. No, no noise in the house, no dust. Um, think of modules for um, uh, a new kitchen, a new bathroom, a new lavatory. And think about how you can make it in one day. Now it takes days and days and very many laborers uh, uh, you, you need. Think of a concept that you can make it as a model at once, in one day. In the morning, the tenant leaves for his work, he gives his key, and at five o'clock he comes back and he gets back the key and the kitchen is functioning. And then the tenant in the driver's seat, well, it leads uh, uh, an on-demand delivery model. Um, well, I call them new kitchen, new bathroom, new WC, new technical installations about heating, ventilation, plumbing. Think of your apartment building where uh, the, 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 the lavatories are uh, abo uh, above each other. Now, how can you do this with your, the plumbing from top to down um, prefabricated? Exterior, you can also think of modules, new glass and window frames. How can you do that without dust and without uh, noise? New windows, uh, take out the old window frames and bring in new window frames. Painting of them, um, repair of facade without dust, without noise. New fac complete new fa facade in one day. Get the old one out, put the new, new one in. It, it is possible and uh, roofing new or a complete new roof. These are e ideas, right? It, it, it is the word task, but it's in fact, it, it's ideas. You can think of all kinds of ideas, ev ev whatever you want. You can think of, uh, this is the concept of modular building. Um, can you do this, any, anything with, it, with the idea uh, for renovation of uh, social housing? You can. Think of industrialization, of prefabrication. You can think of complete new materials, uh, or you can think of 3D print printing, um, or any other idea that you come up. But also always these criteria. You can think uh, of ideas of um, construction and materials. Uh, uh, it depends on your uh, uh, interest, in what your, the study, what you're studying. You can think about solutions uh, of our ideas, business and economic, or the workflow, uh, or uh, uh, software, ECT, um, personal web, uh, web shop models, etc., etc. What do we expect from you? Uh, some work in the, in the afternoon and in the evening, um, and um, think about new ideas, creativity. Um, uh, and at 8 o'clock, we would like you to pitch for this, uh, a short presentation, about two or three minutes. Uh, the way like, uh, how you want, uh, would like to do it, it's not important. You can make uh, uh, something with a PowerPoint or a sheet or on, on paper. It doesn't matter. It, 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 what, what does matter is uh, ideas, new ideas. I told you, I told you who is in the jury. Uh, that uh, Rogier Laterveer, Wilco Planje, my, me personal, um, and Martijn Zietbergen. He is around, he will be around. Um, this is what I wanted to tell you. I have a, a, a handout for, uh, uh, f before you leave. When you have a good pitch at the end, we have something for uh, your, uh, your smartphone when you put it in, you, you can look, uh, uh, it, it is uh, like virtual reality. Uh, you, need a, uh, uh, you need a smartphone with a, um, a gyroscope. Well, we have plenty of them. Um, for now, I want to introduce Menzo. Uh, you have a few words uh, for now. Yes. Thank you, Wim, for this excellent introduction. I have little notes because I had to catch up my English a little bit. So 
First of all, a welcome to Utrecht. Thank you for partic participating in this challenge. Um, my name is Menzo Oosting. I work for Mitros. I'm the manager of the real estate development department. Mitros is a social housing company in Utrecht who has 30,000 houses in Utrecht. And to uh, keep that in perspective, uh, it's one of the six houses in Utrecht is a Mitros house. Uh, Mitros has a challenge. The average age of our houses is about 50 years. We have to maintain and renovate those houses to make them sustainable. Sustainable in terms of energy, household, but also sustainable in terms of comfort for the tenants. We renovate about 800 houses a year. The average cost is about 55,000 euro. The increase of the market price is about half. In the end, that is not a healthy business case. But, very important, in those houses live tenants. We have to keep that in mind. It's important to minimize the nuisance for them. Traditionally, we work with a push strategy, supply oriented. And we think we know how to renovate those houses and we think we know what is good for the tenants. But the tenants want to have control themselves. They want to make choices about what and about when. Therefore, we like to turn around to a pool strategy especially for the interior of the houses. Therefore, we need a component-based renovation method. Components which can be installed plug and play in series of one. This is my story. I wish you all a good experience, lots of fun, and when you need information, we can help you from out Metros. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Menzo. Um, we can start um, uh, with a challenge, or you can start with it. Um, uh, uh, how many are you, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, are you going to do it now? One, two, three, okay. Um, you can form a group, uh, work together uh, this, uh, this uh, afternoon. Um, we can, um, uh, maybe it's uh, uh, helpful when we, uh, at we, we sit at the table in a, in, a, in, a pure, in a small group and we can talk about it um, and then we, m we make an appointment uh, for the rest of the day. Is that okay? Ik sta hier niet. Ja, nou ja, we gaan even kijken. Oké, okay, I, I put this off and we, uh, we, we, we look for a table. <laughs>